Being in the chess family of games, many principles of chess also cross over into shogi. We will be looking at one of the theories that the first world chess champion, Steinitz, came up with regarding advantages. He noted that when a side had the advantage, sometimes this advantage would be of a transitory nature and the position would call for immediate action by means of attack. Otherwise that side would risk end up becoming worse. This position was from the game Taniguchi versus Murata Chiho, 8th Women's Oza, played June 10th, 2018. We're looking at the position from White's point of view. Remember to pause the video after I ask each question and try to figure out the continuation before proceeding. Black is aiming to recapture the knight and end up a pawn ahead. White is up material temporarily. How did she continue? 4 6 knight drop. Returning material and making use of the position of the knight on 2 5. Okay, so she took the knight. If 2 5 pawn, then you take the rook and then just retreat the bishop. Advantage to white. So pawn takes knight, bishop takes pawn, so both the bishop and the knight attack the 3-7 square. If 3-7 knight takes, takes, and then 6-6 six, six pawn, silver takes, and then uh, knight drop on 4-5. Uh, if 3-8 gold, 6-5 pawn, silver back, takes, and bishop drop here, 3-7 rook and 6-6 six, six pawn, white is winning. So instead of 3-8 gold, 4-7 gold, then again 6-5 pawn, silver goes back, takes, and 6-6 six, six pawn. Very good for white. Uh, the threat is 6-5 knight. So in the game, she played 2-9 king, 6-6 six, six pawn. How should white continue? Uh, take the lance. Uh, king takes and then uh, knight 1 7 promote. Uh, white is better. Uh, there's ideas of an edge attack uh, taking on 2 7 and also 4 5 lance. Okay, in the game, she played 6 5 knight. Why was this a mistake? It allows black the chance to ease pressure by eliminating the more important knight on 2-5. After this, white's advantage disappears. It will be difficult for her to find attacking continuations. Okay, getting the rook into play. The tide is starting to turn. In the game, Black missed this chance to turn things around. Uh, she played 6-6 six, six, silver. And 6-8 pawn. Uh, instead of this, 5-9 gold was a Nebari continuation. Um, okay. And then now what was the next move? One nine bishop promote. She doesn't miss it this time. Uh, now, if one eight silver it takes and then edge king edge pawn fork Uh, 
white is much better. A uh, 3-7 bishop is also possible. Uh, again, edge attack. White is better. And this variation, if pawn takes, then 2 6 pawn. The forking the gold and silver. Okay, let's go back. Oh, and after 1 7 pawn, if the gold takes. better for white. Okay, so in the game 5-6 knight. And black resigned. The threat is 3-8 uh, promoted lance. Uh, if the gold takes, just pile out if the gold is pinned. More pile up. And you can cash in. But white's completely winning. Some advantages in shogi and chess are long term. Others are temporary and we need to exploit them quickly and with decisive action while the opportunity is there. Otherwise the evaluation of the position can change drastically. That's it for this video. Any questions or comments can be left down below. If you learned something from this, please give the video a like. Remember to subscribe and let others know about this channel. If you'd like to further support the channel with donations, you can do this by clicking on the Streamlabs link in the description. Donations are not necessary, but are always welcome. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.